All right, guys, another disgusting day in New Hope. Uh, very uninspiring weather. Uh, you can see it's pretty gross. Uh, but we did do a cool haircut, so um, I'm excited to show it to you guys. Here is the cut. Um, it's got a really strong line. Uh, there's the front. Like I said, the weather's terrible here, but you'll see the good result of it uh, at the end of the video. Um, but you can see underneath, uh, we did the undercut in there. The thing that I love most about an undercut is the fact that you can remove so much weight. This is key thing for curly hair. We've talked about this before. You can remove so much weight from the underneath without touching what the outcome of the haircut looks like. So I do want to say thank you to everyone for all of the shout outs and all of the comments on today's video that I just put out. Hopefully uh, you guys like this video. Make sure that you post in the comments. Let me know what you think. I want to know what you guys want to learn next. If I'm going to do a video every day, I need lots of ideas. So uh, make sure that you're posting them in the comments. Hit the like button, hit the share button. And here we go with the step-by-step -step cut. All right, so right hand side parting all the way down center back. What we're doing is we want to focus. This is an undercut, uh, Bob. So we want to focus on where we're going to put that undercut. So I'm going to go occipital bone down to behind the ear. Slight diagonal forward, but not too much. Um, I, I see some people that cut the undercut and they go really far diagonal. It's almost like they created a triangle in the back. Um, I'm not trying to do that. Uh, plus this undercut even though it's a mannequin. So I'm gonna keep it a little bit longer because it's a mannequin, but uh, even on uh, a human, I would keep it a little bit longer. I don't like uh, necessarily the shaved underneath all the time. I know that there's a time and place for, for everything, but um, I'm gonna go through vertically and I wanna create a shape with the undercut. I think if you leave a little extra length in an undercut, it gives you a little pop. It almost lifts the back of the head at the occipital bone um, and creates a really cool foundation for uh, the haircut that's gonna go over top of it. So um, again, I wanna create a shape. I'm going vertical with my sectioning. This is really to remove bulk. You could go through and just scissor over comb it because we're gonna do that um, as well. But I like to go through and cleanly uh, create uh, the shapes, really start the shape because um, the scissor over comb I'm really only gonna do from the nape about halfway up to the occipital bone. So. Um, I really want to make sure I have a strong shape towards the top. Now we're going to go through. I'm using my Blacksmith Fit Mizutani scissors. This is a six and a half inch scissor. Um, I, I really dig this scissor. This is actually the first one I ever got from Mizutani, and I love this thing. Uh, so I'm going through, just doing scissor over comb, working around the edges. I'm not trying to create really a triangular shape or anything like that, so I don't mind taking off the corners of this uh, because it is an undercut. So just working my way through, you'll see my steady blade stays on my comb and then uh, the other blade is, is in motion cutting the hair. And I'm really going to work this until I have a nice solid line in the back. You know, mannequin hair grows straight out of the head, so uh, it's definitely a little bit more difficult. But you just keep working your line until you get happy with it. And then I go through and I clean. I put a hard line in the neckline. This is something you don't get holding hair in your fingers. So just using that scissor, doing that detail work um, is going to make your haircut look a ton better. All right, finishing up the scissor over comb, you can see that I'm leaving a weight line at the occipital bone. What that's going to do is just give me a little extra pop for my shape later on when I go to style the haircut. All right, so we're going to start off. We're going to cut this haircut horizontally. Um, everything's coming straight back to me. I'm cutting a straight horizontal line. And uh, using the wide teeth of my comb, I don't need a ton of tension on this, but YS Park combs already have a good amount of tension. So I'd like using a little bit of the wider teeth. This is a 339 comb. Um, and like I said, it has enough tension already. So working through, over directing everything back towards me and creating just a really nice one length solid line in the haircut. What this is going to do is giving me a slight over direction. You can see how it starts to pop forward. It's just because I'm pulling everything back to myself. So no matter what, when you pull something away from where it lives, it's going to end up longer when it drops down. So 
bringing everything back, cutting that horizontal line, creating a triangular shape in the haircut. The reason we call it triangular, and that's how I learned it, is that if you think about the shortest point and the longest point, it's almost creating that A-line shape, or it is basically creating that A-line shape in the haircut around the perimeter of the cut. So we're looking at where the haircut gets fattest. So it's gonna be, from overdirecting everything back, it's getting fatter at the front. So it's skinny in the back, fatter at the front, so it creates that A look to the haircut or the triangular look to the shape. So bringing everything back, I'm not over-directing it up and back. So I want to keep, again, that strong line around the perimeter of the haircut. So I'm just over-directing it slightly um, to get that weight to push forward, but not elevating it. And this is a good way to make sure that you don't get that too, that really extreme triangular shape. A lot of people, because uh, you remove a ton of weight, you overdirect it way too far. Um, so if you're not going for that look, you're just looking for a soft, subtle uh, shape to kind of hug the chin of your guest. This is a great way to do that. So we're finishing up. You can see that right along the parietal ridge, I did section away the top. Um, I don't really love to over direct the top the entire time. So what I'm going to do is actually, now that I've finished the base of my wet cut, I'm going to let the top fall over. I'm going to blow it dry with some Bricado Active um, oil and or serum and go through, just flat wrap it. And then I'm going to do dry cutting on the entire top of the head. So I think there's a time and place for everything. And I think that dry cutting to me um, sometimes is really great um, to not even cut the top and just go through and clean it up that way. So once I get the hair smoothed out, I go through and I do an extra blow dry and I feel like that just kind of gives it uh, life again um, and a little bit more movement to the hair. So we're going to go through with our tease cutting technique. This one I'm taking vertical sections and I'm going through and just uh, tease cutting the hair. So what tease cutting is, if you guys haven't been following along, it's your first video. Um, tease cutting is a half close of the scissor. You're pushing um, the hair. So I find my guide, which is all the hair falling out. So that keeps my strong line. And then I'm just softening the top layer. So I'm going through half close, pushing the hair and cutting it. So the more you close the scissor, the more you'll cut. Uh, you can see there's my guide and I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna remove all of this bulk. Could you point cut this? Yes, you could definitely go through and do some point cutting if you want to. I just really love the tease cutting technique. It's quick and uh, the result is very effective. So we're flying through. This is my Mizutani Puffin. So this is my dry cutting scissor. So I started off with a wet cutting scissor, the blacksmith fit, which I really love. And a lot of people ask me what scissor to get while they're in school. That is definitely the scissor. Uh, this is the blacksmith fit Puffin, which is a dry cutting scissor, has a lot of smooth feel um, to the cut when you're cutting dry hair. It's specifically made for dry hair. Uh, and it works really well. So we're going to use the same scissor to go through here, and we're just going to clean up the baseline of the haircut. So the outer perimeter of the haircut, this is where all the detail work comes in. We did cut all those hard lines in the wet cut, so it's pretty simple once we get to this point. But we're just going to use the tip of the scissor, go through, and uh, just little by little carve out that line and define that line that we've created in the wet cut. So just, you just want to use the tip. You don't want to go in trying to use the full scissor. That's going to push too much hair. But just going through, the tip will not push the hair, and it will allow you to draw that really straight, perfect line in the haircut. So a few key factors I want to break down with this cut today uh, and definitely challenge you guys to try in the salon. The undercut is not going anywhere. It definitely makes your haircuts look more modern and more uh, user-friendly for your guests to blow dry at home. So it's going to allow a more sleek shape, which you can see here. Leaving that top and not cutting it in the wet cut, cutting it only in the dry. I hope you guys like that tip. Um, try that out in the salon. It works really well. And then also outlining the perimeter um, just with the tip of the scissor, going through and defining that line. You can actually see it right now happen in the slow motion shape. You can see that outer perimeter, how sharp it is. Definitely try these techniques, guys. I think you'll like them.
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the cut. Again, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that already and share this channel with all of your friends. And uh, if you haven't hit like yet and you like the video, make sure you hit like as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.